hello welcome to this cousin bill house on 780 square meters with 500 of those square meters being living space let's go check it out these are two huge i'm six foot four and as you can see the doors go quite a bit up these are two huge double wide custom made doors come on in is everything custom made Everything has to be, it's so big. First off, as soon as you come in, right away, you have the man's room, okay? Everybody needs a man's room? Check this out. You've got a fully stocked bar, and there's a whole lot of beer in that beer fridge. A handmade custom bar, pool table, drum set, television. We got bikes, we got electric motorbikes here. What do you call these things, scooters? You got electric scooters. Scooters here that go up to 40 kilometers per hour. You have a CR just for your bar area in the event you need to go to the loo. As you'll notice, there are double sliding doors on both ends of the room so that you can go right out to the pool, which we will show in a minute. Everybody loves a walk-in closet. How about a walk-in closet for your shoes at the front door? And we already had the one CR right there. <laughs> That's not enough. We got another one right here. Lots of ceiling fans, inset ceilings, as you can see throughout. Lots of inset lighting. This whole place here just opened all the way up. You'll notice they went with an entirely open concept floor plan. This room is so huge that it could be a bowling alley. You could easily be bowling. Look at that strike. Uh, okay. In order to fill a huge room like this, they had to have this sofa custom made so that they would have something that actually filled the room. To give you an idea, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grown ass adults could easily fit on this couch. And I am six foot four. Curved TV. Yes, please. Even the Wi-Fi in this place is extremely strong. They've got one of the best they could buy. Holy, that's like a yeah. it's military. Right? <laughs> it's like military tech around here. You also notice, because you can't get curtain walls here, it's not a normal thing in construction, so it's very difficult and it's very expensive to import. And so what they've done is they've put double sliding doors at three different points in this living room. I love this dining room table they have made. As you can see here, there is no leg here. Look at that. Oh. And but there is on this side. But on the opposite side, no leg. Interesting. Very cool. All right, as you can see also the staircase. See how they have it all opened up here? No supports on this whole end. It gives it that super modern feel. Before we go to the kitchen, do you wanna go out to the pool? Yes. Let's go out to the pool. Look at the beautiful tiled floor. And of course this custom made pool. It's got its own jacuzzi built right into the corner here. You have these beautiful fountains. You have a shower off in the corner there. Balconies up above, which we will check out in a minute. You'll notice over there, they have that's where the pool table is, where we came in. The whole living space, everything seems to lead all the way out to the pool. We haven't shown you those parts there, but we will in a minute. All right, and over here, you'll notice that they have all of the water, even though they still drink bottled water, they made sure that the water still is triple filtered. Filtration process for the pool, of course, and the pump is all over here. Pressurized tanks, you name it. What a perfect place for entertainment. Okay. Especially when the night comes. Oh yeah, 
There's string lights here. I'm ready to party. This is the kitchen. It's absolutely massive. It's all made of marble. And I love the open concept with the island here. Perfect for talking, cooking, and overall relaxing while you eat. And this chandelier is epic. Okay, it's like futuristic. It's very, very cool. And this is not only the designer, the owner, the creator, the co construction head manager, the head honcho, but he has a great deal of experience in construction, worked on some of the biggest projects in the world before retiring and coming to the Philippines. Hi. <laughs> uh, this is John, and John has done an amazing job. Along with you, had a pretty good crew working for you here. Yes, pretty good, yeah. Recommended by a friend of yours. Yes. Correct. Oh. Yes. This is absolutely beautiful. Can you tell us something special about this kitchen? Uh, apart from all the granite. Yeah. Uh, this, where did this granite come from? Um, it's actually Italian, but bought here in the Philippines. Okay. Um, all the cabinets are custom made. Um, again, imported oven. Yes, that's a beautiful oven. <laughs> I know. That that is cool. For turkeys at Christmas. It, oh. oh. <laughs> Turkey at Christmas. I know where I'm coming. And even the fridge, that's a very deep fridge. Mm. Deeper than most. And it's got the double drawers. Up. And look how well stocked it is with lots and lots of good food here. I love how easy that works and you can find everything you want. Of course, the important stuff. Uh, unlimited yeah. supply of beer in this house, I gotta tell you. And look at this. Oh, oh and they all pull out like drawers? What? Whoa. Whoa! What are you, a magician? Whoa! Are you a magician? <laughs> Wait, can you do it on this side? No. No. Nah. Oh, oh, yeah, ice. you got the ice maker. It tells you the temperatures, everything. That's a beautiful one. And I noticed you have a lot of cool appliances here. Like this is a double. I don't think oh, I've yeah. ever seen a double before. Air fryer. Double okay. air fryer. You can do fries and chicken at, at the, the same, same time. time. A microwave? How many people have them here? It's weird. We don't have a microwave. No, we don't even have one, yeah. It's a beautiful stainless steel range hood. Oh, where did you get this? Ikea. Ikea? What the heck? Darling, you've noticed them and always wanted them at Ikea. Don't you forget? You forgot already? I guess I forgot. Look, it's Ikea. Yeah, here no, it goes. It here it goes. Boom. It's like a planet. It's like Star Trek or something. Or like Star Wars. When the Death Star explodes, that's what it looks like. All right. The flower ones are really cool as well. All right, let's keep on moving. We got a big house We're to show. We're gonna get distracted. All right, what's here to the left? What is here? Ooh, can we show it? Is it yes. dirty? Yeah. We're gonna it as well. All right. And so here in the Philippines, it's not unusual to have a dirty kitchen. They're just not using it. But what they have is one of the most state-of-the-art solar systems here, so that they, during the day are never using any electricity. That's nice. There you go. It's all touch screen. You can find out all the information at any given time. It's already telling us right now that it is bringing in 6.4, but we're currently using nine, I believe. Because we have all the lights on. Because we turned everything on to make this all video. The all the lights. We, we turned good lights. everything on. Yes, we did. So right now it's not cost effective, but normally it is. When you don't have YouTube bloggers in your house, it's that's, cost effective. That's right. So right away, look at this. You have a spare bedroom here Ooh, with a beautiful CR. And this one in our bathroom. I know. See, you're ready to be a guest. Not to mention these guest bedrooms with these huge closets on the wall all go out. Straight to the pool. Wow. And the second one is basically its twin, North except North. for this one is the corner unit and has an even better view right from the bed. Right. You can get right up and head on out. I think you want to be John's guest. I want to be the guest that just stays here permanently. <laughs> permanently. Is that a guest though? I don't know. Now we're gonna head up to the second floor. Right away, you'll notice lots of natural light in this house. They have windows pretty much everywhere. 
I love that. It's so good to have an open concept. I feel like I'm a little claustrophobic when there's not enough light or windows. And look at this landing wow. area. And so they've chosen because they just have an only child that they would have just two bedrooms on this whole second floor. So the same square footage you saw below is used for only two bedrooms. Bedroom. Right away, look at this, you've noticed one thing, the balcony. The balcony that connects everything. Everything with the view. So their daughter uses this balcony. Now they had to do some resurfacing here and re-leveling because a lot of water was pooling here. So they've corrected it all and soon they will be putting the AstroTurf back down and this will be available for their daughter to uh, have to come right out of her bedroom and have her own balcony. Then over here, they have a laundry room. Before we go to the master bedroom, we're gonna show you the laundry room. And you will see they've got everything properly sloped now. So that I was here actually during a rainstorm and there was no water here at all. That's really nice. And so this is the laundry. So people always say, why is the laundry on the first floor if your bedrooms are on the top floor? Exactly. It sounds good in here. It's yes. Good laundry. Mm, love that. And then over here you have the gym. Nice and basic. Those yeah. are probably the only. It's very straightforward, but it's everything you need. I would probably use. Yeah, so. and you can technically, because those open up, you could wheel them out here and do it out here if you really wanted to. Um, all the homes in this neighborhood are very, very, very large. This is a beautiful private community here in Iloilo. Very, very quiet. This is so nice. I didn't even know about this. How many roosters here? Just one. It's me. <laughs> So this might be my favorite room. I don't know, you'll see why, you'll see why. This is Danielle, and we're gonna take a little tour of her room. First up, who's gonna do the curl up? You can, <laughs> I don't can you do a curl up? <laughs> what? It's there as a deterrent for tall people. Oh, if keep the tall, tall people tall, out, get out. You out. All right, let's see this. Wow, okay, so first off, massive. Massive, massive bedroom, all right, we love that. Tell us, tell us about, tell us about your room. What do you like most about your bedroom? My bed. <laughs> your bed? Oh, my bed. It is, you, now there's only one of you. <laughs> yeah. But you got two beds. Yeah. So how do you use the two beds? I don't. <laughs> you don't. So you sleep up on the top? Well, not tonight, but. <laughs> oh, so you kind of, you I do switch. use both of them. I switch. Yeah. Ah, see, I knew it. Ooh. It depends on the mood. Right. Up She's a down. fantastic drawer as well. Oh, Amazing. She does all these really cool things. It's so cozy in here. I so as you can it. see, it's a built-in bunk bed. It's actually got steps going all the way up. Mm -hmm. And you can see that it, everything is really nicely done here. This, I believe, comes out, right? Uh, yeah. It pulls out to another bed. The other bed is on that side. Oh, okay. So this is a pull-out bed. She's got it turned around. But normally you could pull it out and there would be another. How many beds do you need? <laughs> Big sleepovers. Come on. Fair. Okay, fair enough. And this light is cool because while she's in bed, she can turn off her light from inside there. Not have to climb all the way down. It was a really great idea. I'm loving your, your gaming chair here. And this is the coolest chair I've ever seen. And that stands up, right? It goes, uh, that yeah. You can crank it up. So that's a standing desk to a sitting desk. That's really beautiful. And I love the use of space here. I believe these are all drawers, is that correct? Yeah. So these are all drawers all the way down. Don't worry, we won't make you open them. And uh, <laughs> look at this. How many kids get a bathroom <laughs> like this? Okay. This is amazing. Can you imagine when you were a kid, if you had a bathroom like this of if your I own? If I had my own bathroom, you would never see me, okay? I would be like a ghost in my own house. I would just be in here. Look at that. Look at, they got the wood paneling on the walls in here. The really beautiful stonework. Yeah, and this really incredible. I would, I would, never, I would never leave the house. This is where I'd be. Like if you needed me, right here. That's the only place I would be. Bye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a, <laughs> thank you. Are you a cowgirl? Of course I am. Yeehaw. All right. <laughs> Show me the way, cowgirl. Enter in the saloon. But I want some. What's up? 
<laughs> this walk-in closet oh is enormous. You have as much as you could ever imagine, especially for a teenager. Oh my gosh. I want to know why it's so clean and organized. Right? What kind of teenager are you? climbing mountains trying to find anything in there. And check out the inset lighting that's going on here in the ceiling. So they have a, a drop down ceiling with lighting underneath it. It looks really cool. This is an amazing room. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I give it 10 out of 10. That's 10 out of 10. 10. That's and 10 your own balcony, which yeah. right now, unfortunately, you don't have your grass. Yeah, yeah. 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 But when you do, what will you do out there? Cartwheels and cartwheels. <laughs> yeah, cartwheels, fantastic. Sub four. All right, gymnastics is great. All right, one more bedroom to go, yeah. the master bedroom. By the way, I love your clock. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. And now the master bedroom. This bedroom is laid out very functionally. As you can see, they have a huge bed here. And although they have this TV here, it's just for the video surveillance because they said that when they're in the bedroom, they don't watch TV. That's just not what they're into. Makes sense. But of course, the doors here that lead out to the pool, to your balcony, everything is very nice. By the way, that was built into the wall. As you can see, it's totally inset with lighting that's up above and it gives you that shelf. The walk-in closet. Which is very clean. Oh, look, it's me. Oh, no. This is the walk-in closet. There are mirrors on both sides of this. So you, once you're in here, you can close it and you can look at your selections. As well, take a look at all the space they have here. So much storage. I know we always say it's his and hers, but let's be honest, it's hers and hers. That's all his, all him. Now this is a bathroom. Well, just first, when you walk in, there's a massive tub. It looks so relaxing, okay? They understand the bathrooms here, for sure. And then you have an enclosed toilet on one end and an enclosed shower on the other. That way no smells. Steam. Steam, liquids, nothing uh, escapes their designated area. <laughs> and of course, some beautiful views. You'll notice the tiling on both sides of these mirrors are beautiful. Everything here was all custom made and designed exactly how they wished it. Even the sinks here have their own shape to them. I have an almond. 